Hey friends, I did something where I'm just gonna be every every app character in the world and it's on rotate. I don't know what I did. This one freaks me out. I don't know what I did. So we're just gonna go with it. This is my favorite. Can I just leave this on forever, please? Can I just have a purple mustache? That would be great. Yes, I'm working out so hard. <laughs> okay, I don't like this one so much, but you know, it's okay. So, uh, I'm just just going for it today. I'm just on one. So I'm having pizza, leftover pizza. This is like one, two, three, four slices and some dipping sauce. First is from Pizza Pizza. Where's your favorite pizza from? I don't know. I think mine's Papa John's. Um, despite the controversy with Papa John's pizza, I love the sauce. This is freaky. What is happening? <laughs> oh my god. My favorite. Um, but we're there. We're doing it. It's happening. Um, so, again, I'm eating on camera. Maybe even making a coffee out of the espresso machine. I think I have one espresso shot left. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I definitely need coffee. So you should win an award for that. Well, um, yeah, I'm just going to have some pizza for lunch. I hope everyone's having a great day. Um, if you hear the faint buzzing in the background, you're a wizard, Harry. Um, it is the fish tank with the frog in it. So that's what that is. Here's the noise. So I don't like that one. It's spooky. This is my favorite. Can just be this for life. Oh my God. <laughs> yes. I'm eating and working out and it's beautiful. Mm. Mm. So I feel like everybody's live streaming these days and it seems to be a new hot commodity. Um, you're a hot commodity and an essential. Um, so I don't really have a plan of what to talk about right now. Never really do. Just kind of comes out and magic happens. So that's how I feel lately. Wow. Oh, I don't like this one. I'm going to say that every time. It's too dark. This one's beautiful. This matches my personality. What did I do? How did I stop this? Stop the madness! Hey, there's eight people watching. Nine people watching. So I'm just going to leave it on. I'll rotate. Rotate. Okay. Hey, Miss Kubu. I love you. Yeah, so now everyone leaves. Okay, bye. So I'm having pizza. What is on the pizza? Okay, so no joke. I think pineapple does belong on the pizza. And the best pizza for me is this trifecta of pineapple, chicken, and hot peppers. It's the perfect trifecta. And because the the because the chicken is savory and then uh, pineapple sweet and then the hotness of the peppers, it just does something amazing. So if you do Love pizza. Give it a shout out. Hey, Kayla. Love you. Check mines. Pretty great mines. <laughs> Someday. We'll see. Oh, yeah. So eating pizza. Um, this one here is, I think it's just Canadian. So olives, mushrooms, and what is that? I don't know. Meat. Meat. Meat is on this pizza. Same. Yeah, so... I'm a little wreck. Hello, everybody. Oh my god, could this be my new look? I'm loving this! I mean, this is as much working out as you got. No, I've been trying to commit to 10 push-ups a day. Everybody can do that. I'm not, like, a super gym guy. I actually just go there to get some color in the tanning booth. I have like aqua massages and this UV light thing. I love that. Um, my second job ever was working at a tanning salon. That was an interesting job. I think I had it for six months. Um, little did I know I was seasonal. I don't know what six months of season that would be, but I don't know. I learned a lot. It was definitely a good experience. The googly eyes are the best, right? Um, you're so cute. <sighs> but yeah, there were some weirdos in the tanning salon industry 
like customers like I shouldn't say that weirdos but there's a lot of nakedness and a lot of juice that I would have to clean I just cleaned the beds like I didn't even run the place you have to get a smart tan certification to be an expert on tanning Robin I can't talk to you right now I'm doing a video we'll talk later and he's so sweet is there anything you need I don't know googly eyes you know what I want to get glow sticks I want to get glow sticks and do a glow in the dark um like rave style bath for you guys with the bubbles so I think that'd be fun somebody suggested that yes so 10 push-ups a day everybody can do 10 push-ups a day start small like I'm not super fit but I'm already seeing some definition and I'm liking what I'm seeing like honestly at the gym like I did have a personal trainer at Good Life like five years ago and I got really thick really fast and he was like do you want to um what was it do you want a body bodybuilder body because you're built like a bodybuilder I'm like okay like I don't but I was getting there and it was nice and it was the closest I've ever seen to abs um but they're gone and maybe they'll come back someday so that's what I'm trying to work out to do summer bod 2020 we'll see um I've always had this like little boy body like I don't know um we all have our insecurities for me um my two what would it be my knees I think are my two like my least favorite part of my body would be my knees they look like cabbage patch kids like with the scrunched face I don't know what it is just knees and then I'm conscious about my nipples because I have pointy nipples I'm just gonna not beat around this the spooky and they kind of remind me of like a pig I'm just gonna go there and say it pig nipples that's me maybe I need a nipple reduction I don't know I'm too vain sometimes um I wonder where I get that from um love everybody so at some point I'm gonna make some coffee uh, my alarm will let me know when it is three o'clock because that's a reminder that I have a dentist at four I don't know if I'm gonna get to the upstairs today maybe 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 not I don't know we'll see that's creepy I don't like that one but I like this one can just stay forever with some goosebumps stuff some goosebumps mmm I need a purple mustache this is just happening mm. I don't know about crust on pizza what you guys like stuff crust is pretty amazing this is not stuff crust but stuff crust is the bomb what about those stuffed crust bites? Where's your favorite pizza place in town? Like, Stobie's is like a London classic, and you can't go wrong, especially when your name's on the menu board and it's free. Did you know, and I say this all the time, you get a free piece of pizza on your birthday at Stobie's Pizza. So when it's your birthday, waddle on down there, or segue on down there, and get your free slice. It's totally worth it. Like, why not take the free things in life, right? And they're nice and it's like two pieces is really one piece you know what I mean like you get one piece but it's like like freaking four pieces of pizza like this like this is one piece or something like that it's pretty pretty amazing um, hello everybody hope you're having a good quarantine day or a self-isolated day or however you want to call it a wizard day I don't know like whatever day is happening you know you probably feel like this um, I know I do sometimes but these four days have gone to my head and I'm live streaming everything so not everything but I'm having a moment with all these characters so it's just too much mm. I'm not a big leftovers person. Robin can definitely tell you that one. Pizza though? No, I'll eat that. And why I like um, Cousin Vinny's? No, I used to go there at high school all the time. 
Uh, Papa John's. Oh my god. Papa John's. It's the sauce. I don't know what it is. It's just freaking sauce. And then I watch out on their Instagrams for uh, their specials because I don't know. I think they're a little on the pricey side, which is fine. I'm El Cheapo. Um, but I spend my money on stupid things. Like, it's like I save my money on, on things I need, but then when it's something I just want, like, that's like, depends what it is, but, like, priorities, Eric. So, Papa John's, watch their Instagrams, because they have stories, and they'll tell you what's up. They'll tell you when it's 50% pizza day, which is, can I take these off? No. 50% pizza day at Papa John's is what I live for. Like, I love their pizza. So, do you know about the whole controversy with the Papa John? I'm not getting into it too much, but is there something on my face? No, it's just the thing. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can turn this off because I don't know what's happening. I don't think I can. I think it's actually... Did I? Are we good? Are we golden? I don't know. Now what do I hit? Now what do I do? All these buttons. Okay, I think I made it stop. So I'm not a wizard or googly eye or cat or raccoon or spooky are you afraid of the dark person? I'm just Eric, eating pizza. Confronting my big fear, eating pizza in front of people. Again, don't put me in the middle of a restaurant. I am not on display. <laughs> Unless I want to be, then I'll let you know. But I like a booth, a good booth. Mm -hmm. hmm. Huzzah! Am I really gonna eat all this pizza? I'm just gonna talk. I'm just gonna talk so much. I don't even know what to talk about today. I did this morning. I feel like I got it all in my system. How's Miss Kubu doing? So Miss Kubu, I'm gonna talk about you a bit. I hope it's okay. She was my art teacher at Beale when at like 16 years ago or something. What is that? 2000 and like four, three, 2003, I think. It's quite some time ago. That was more, more than that. Um, but yeah, she was just like, she's just this fun art teacher and she made everything fun. She didn't take it too seriously, which I love. Like, I love great teachers who are just like, not too seriously, but still like, she was very much like, get this done. Like, get it done. And I don't know, I just appreciate that. And then, yeah, I don't know. I've, I've been to two art schools, I keep saying this. I went to Pearson. And I went to Beale, and I think that really made me more of a well-rounded person. And I, I don't know, if you could go back to high school, would you relive it again? Honestly, I would. I think I would do things a little differently and not be so, like, wild in the halls and wild and class and, you know, pay attention a little bit more in that grade 11 English class. But, yeah, like, I don't know. It's just everybody has their own teaching style, so... Good on you, Miss Kubu. And then she's a fantastic artist, artiste. I don't know how to say it. But if you could go check out Deborah Kubu's art, it is stellar. Like, it is, like, freaking, like, up there with the best. Like, Mona Lisa who? Miss Kubu. So I just want to say hi, Miss Kubu, and I appreciate you, and thank you. Oh. You know what makes pizza delicious? The sauce, the extra garlic sauce. I usually save it for the crust. I'm not a big crust person, but I'll eat it if I have the sauce. I'm not a big bread, bread person or cakes. Now I am in this like situation. I'm just like a snowplow of food. Whatever I can eat, I will eat it. <laughs> we'll see. I need to stop doing that because it's getting like, like I'm eating like freaking Taco Bell and going home and eating dinner and still hungry and wanting chips. It's about like 
control and what control you have in your environment. I think like everyone's eating more because it seems to be like one thing we can control for now. Mm. Jordan. I love you, Jordan. Apparently in all my videos, I start like this. So it's cute. It's cute. Did you guys hear they're opening the Covent Garden Market back up? How do you feel about that? I'm 50-50 split. I could get into it. I'm just going to get into it. So they shut down. It's, it's mixed messaging. They shut it down for a reason. But now it's opening back up on the third, I don't know, Wednesday, tomorrow. Tomorrow it's opening back up. And I feel for the vendors in there and I want them to be safe. And obviously it's really no different than going to Walmart for downtown. And I'd like to say that I really feel for people who are mobily challenged, the elderly, um, disabled right now because it's just harder right there for them and they have nowhere to go or like less resources to have. Um, but at the same time, like the whole, the homeless situation and the resources there, a lot of the places closed and kicked them out and that really doesn't help that situation. So there's already the people who live in tents and are, for whatever reason, like I know probably two people right now who are like not in good places and it's tough, it's tough choices. Um, I'm not gonna get into them too much, but they've told me some things about what's going on right now. It's really sad that like, I don't know if it was Salvation Army or the place they go, a lot of the places that they go to have safety and to to sleep also push them out so they really have nowhere to go it is march the end of march and it's freezing outside like i had a i had a water in my car and it froze so that's not good for anybody and like back to the market like i just don't want it to be a covid19 epicenter you know and you see what's going on with the courthouse shutting down and reopening and shutting down reopening um so i'm expecting a little bit of that to happen down there and then to tie in the homeless centers and all that like there is a like a heavy population of of homelessness in london like you hear that people from other towns give them a bus ticket and bust them in again like everybody has their own story and situation and they're just navigating through it the best they can and some people don't have the capacity to make those those choices and, and they're kind of stuck and you know I feel for them. When I run for mayor, we'll see. I have this plan, like I wanna run for mayor in my 50s or 60s, I'm 32 right now, so it's not gonna happen right now. Um, and truth be told, this Donald Trump thing has really got me interested in, in just all politics. Like I don't really know the system, how it works so well yet. But, like, eventually want to be, uh, like, a ward of London and, I don't know, just, like, figure that out. Not right now. It's, like, there's a lot going on. Like, I think I want to leave London at some point in my life, do some traveling, get some more world experience, because I've mainly been here. I love London. Like, I love London too much. Like, like, all my friends were like, peace, I'm going to Toronto, right after high school. I'm like, no, London. You know, it, it has its pros and its cons. I love that you can get everywhere. Um, you know, maybe an hour walk from downtown. It's a small town, but it's a big, it's a, it's a small city, but it's like a big town feel, small town. You know what I'm trying to say. So I don't know. And th there's a lot of changes that have happened in London. Do I agree with them all? It's out of my control. It is what it is. Um, I don't know, some things that I'd like to see happen with London is transit to Toronto would be great. Like, maybe that's working with the mayors along the way. 
maybe that's, you know, federal funding. I don't really know what that looks like, and that's why I'm like, I'm not running now, right? Um, but I'd like time to figure that out. And maybe all that stuff's gonna happen in the next 20, 30 years. But, I'm gonna eat my pizza. Homeless population. Again, tough area. I'd like to see like a block, city block, devoted for a lot of that, where you get, you know, like it's government funded, you have a cafeteria in there, you have a rehab facility in there, you have a safe injection site in there, you have uh, like mental support workers work in there. There's obviously security, maybe even tiny home projects, um, things that are more contained and not to say like gentrification of the city like like everybody like everyone's obsessed with like classes and all that and, and nobody's better like I'm not, I'm not better than anybody like so get that out of your head because you're not either and like we're all the same but I just like to see more of a support system and feeling the love that's what life is about love do you see me? Do you hear me? Do I feel validated? Do you love me? And that's a big part of it. So I wear my heart on my sleeve. And yeah, there's like so many tough choices and, and people, different capacities, and it's not easy. So I don't know where it's going with that. Just the market, back to the market. Like, I hope it works out. I hope it's safe. Um, I saw like some promo photo and it was like outside vendors with their tents and I was like okay that wasn't a good way of making us feel so great and safe but I don't know like I don't know what that logistically would look like um, how many people in there at once what protection they'll be using like when we went to KFC the other night they had a glove on the debit machine so like if you know much about this COVID-19 like that's not gonna stop that isn't any cleaner. Like, this stuff lives on plastics longer than a lot of surface areas. So plastics and stainless steel, I think it lives on the most. So I think the gloves provide a self false sense of security. That's just me, because you are touching those gloves when you're taking them off. Best advice, wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. I've said that a million times, wash your hands. Uh, before you touch your face, you need pizza, just wash your hands. Um, so I'm gonna have another slice. I need some more coffee. I've had six espressos today. That's nothing new though. Like maybe I need to cut back on that. Like I'm really trying to be more focused on what I'm doing and how, how healthy I am. Um, mindfulness just more of that focus this year and it's already like got me through like a, a lot of working through a lot of stuff pizza We're all on our own journey so yes is anybody doing anything today like anything just nothing's open really any great drive throughs out there or Uber eats in? I'm so old. Uber Eats, like... I got it now, but it took me a bit. Like, I still am not into the Uber taking of the vehicle. Because if they get in a car accident, guess what? You're not insured. Not with Uber. I don't think so. Maybe I'm wrong. I know, like, taxi, you are. So I feel a little bit better spending the two dollars, but that's just me. All this pizza is making me sleepy. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Yesterday, 
piping kettle. That's my go-to comfort food to Uber Eats. Soup and a sandwich. There is nothing homemade, more hearty, more like filling and satisfying. Love it. What kind of soup do I like? Usually cream of broccoli, sometimes a nice tomato soup. Um, I usually go for their like chicken sandwich or turkey sandwich. Yum. Back to pizza. Have you had anchovies on pizza before? Recently, last year, I tried that and I thought it was going to be super weird. You know, a lot of people don't like fish and I get it. it fish can be weird. Like squid can be weird and like seafood can get weird. I get that. But where did I go? Um... I want to say it's Frank and Gus. I'm probably wrong. It's on Adelaide. It was good. It was... I ordered it twice, the anchovy pizza. I don't know, I liked it. It wasn't... It wasn't you know, I ate it all to myself because nobody else is into that, but it's a good way to eat a whole pizza yourself to sort of some anchovies on there. Okay, I'm going to take a break. I'm going to try to make espresso. We'll see how that goes. If not, I'll do an instant coffee. Just give me a sec. Okay. So... Okay, so this is my espresso machine, our car, kind of our coffee bar area. This is an old Starbucks espresso machine. It was actually made in collaboration with BMW, which I think is really cool. I think it's sleek. I think it originally was like a $790 espresso machine. Just give me a sec here. more room here okay so I'm not giving away too many secrets trade secrets here um, so this is a manual machine it's different machines out there some will grind your coffee for you um, some you just gotta hit a button the espresso comes out this guy is a manual machine a lot of people love that because you can have more control over your grind um, or different things about it it's just like the art of an old espresso machine I think it's really cool so I have some, I've used this for quite some time. Try to put in some fresh water in the back. It just makes it a little bit nicer. So where is everything? That is the question. Do I have the scooper? Where's the scooper? I have the scooper. You're like, what's the scooper? It's just like a little, is it in here? Not in here. It's in here. My scooper. So this, this does about a two shots. This is a double espresso. You can switch it out to different ones. This is two shots. And hopefully I have enough for, yes. Let's go in here. I need to grind a fresh bag of espresso. This is probably too old. We won't talk about that. So, with a manual. See that line in there? That's kind of where you want the espresso to be sitting. If you're going to get a manual machine, make sure it is ground for espresso. Because if it's too fine, it's going to clog up. If it's too... Course. It's gonna be too runny. You know what I'm talking about, I swear. I swear. Alright, so now I've flattened it out. I think it's called tamping the espresso. Maybe it's not. It's 
flattened out, it's close enough to the line. And then I just want to give you a warning. This guy splatters a little bit. Uh, it doesn't pour out perfectly, but it still does the job. So I'm gonna boil some water, just a little bit. Give me a quick second here. Pearl, Graham Pearl, hi. What's going on up north there in Timmins? Is there a lot of snow? I saw your picture a little while ago. There's still snow. God bless. That's all I can say. We had a little snow last week. I think that's the end of it. Here we get about, I'm saying now, three snowfalls in the winter. Consistently big snowfalls, maybe some sprinkles in between. There's nothing like up to your waist. Love you. Jules, did you see I was talking about you this morning in the coffee with Eric in the car? Thank you for doing my makeup back in the day. Merdonna. Well, that's Sherrick. Sherrick. Yeah, there's a lot of, a lot of personalities in this. Mm -hmm. So, I'm just waiting for some water to heat up and go down to chill. I don't, it's probably not open now, but when it, things get back to normal, go to chill. Get some chill frozen yogurt. It is so full of protein, it blew my mind. They're so nice over there. They'll do it for you. It's like top of the line service. This is my commercial. Um, just go, oh, I gotta pick up that hat. She's got a hat for me. I think it's like bedazzled or bejeweled. That's exciting. So, love it. Go check out Chill downtown. Yes. It's next level. I'm all about the next level. All right, so I'm gonna put this in. And then you lock it in. Either way, this guy's gonna splatter a little bit. She's old. She's from 2007, I think. Um, I have two of these. I bought this guy off of um, Facebook Marketplace for $20. And then the one I have in the basement has some more issues. And maybe if there's a problem with both, I can just combine them and have one well-working espresso machine. And then we have another espresso machine somewhere else too. You know, I'd say be cautious getting an espresso machine for home because there's a lot of things if you don't really know your way around the coffee machine. They're making them so cheap now. Um, like to steam milk, um, this is metal. And it's metal for a reason. Um, they're making them with plastic. And then some of the, the openings, like I don't even know. I don't even know how they get away with it but they don't know what they're doing. So just watch out or talk to somebody, message me, or just don't go out and buy one and think you're getting the best espresso and then it's not working out for you and I feel bad. It doesn't work out for you and you're like, why? I have the right beans, I spent all this money. Yeah, you did, but you know, just making them junky now. So. You know, and they do need serviced. Uh, you gotta clean them with a descaler. You can use vinegar, um, run a bunch of vinegar through. It does break down a lot of things. Um, you can buy espresso cleaner. That's great too. Um, I definitely recommend it. Once you clean your espresso machine, you definitely taste the difference um, between, you know, the two pours of coffee there. I hear my kettle. It's warming up. Okay, so I just wanted some hot water and some espresso. That's it. While everyone is stuck at home, teach us how to make a decent pot of coffee. For the love of God, I can barely choke mine down. Every pot turns out horrible. For some reason, I need Starbucks. Everybody needs Starbucks, everybody. I mean, for real. Like, I'm so blessed to work for, like, I think it's the best company in the world, organization in the world. I'm very fortunate, so, yeah. All right, so, I got my espresso. It's in there. It's tamped, patted down. 
And don't push down too hard because that can change the consistency and the grind. Okay, so I got my kettle brewing. I hear it. Give me a sec. Why do I smell burnt plastic? I don't know. That's not a good smell ever. Something with the stove. I have all the dishes sitting on the stove. I need to do the dishes. Like, okay. So I have my espresso in there. Do you have an espresso machine, Jules? I don't know. But I'd say go get some, some great coffee. Have them grind it for you if you don't have a grinder. If you're going to the box, you're so cute. Thank you. You guys are too nice to me. Um, yeah, like make sure the grind's right. Um, if you're doing like a coffee press or like it depends how it's being prepared. That's that's what you need to know um, when you're getting your grind. So whatever machine you're using. And I mean, if you're going there, just, just ask your barista. They'll let you know. They'll let you know a lot. All right, so I'm about to make my coffee now. I'm going to get a see-through cup so you can kind of see what's going on. Mugs. We don't have a short supply of those. I'm going to put it in this. It's like a wine glass, actually. A Starbucks wine glass. but um, Because I want to catch the squirtiness of my espresso machine. It's not totally normal, but I just am living with it. Um, like it sprays. So I'm not going to... So I'm pressing the double espresso button. We're going to get a little closer here. Get out of the way. Hopefully it works. Okay, so I love this. She's coming out. So the color of espresso is important. You're looking for a caramel color. So if you leave your espresso out for too long, it'll turn black without you doing anything. You know, if it's too dark, or too light, that has to do with your grind. And I'm doing a double espresso. See what I mean? It's like squirty. Like, why is it squirting back there? That's what I mean. I don't know. All right, so I got my espresso. And then, take that out. I'm gonna add some hot water to that to really make it into a coffee or an Americano. And then, this is my final result. So it still keeps that caramel color nice and warm. Turn off my machine. If I want to add some cream, maybe I'll add a little cream. Let's grab some cream. What kind of cream? I'm going to put in heavy whipping cream. Just a little. Beautiful. All right, we're going back to pizza land. So I made a cup of coffee. You're welcome, I'm welcome. We're on a trip together one day. Yes, Erin, I'll talk to you later though. I'm doing a live stream, folks. I'm always wary about pouring something really hot into a glass, thin glass. Had too many shatter accidents in my life. Don't get me started. So, uh, it's 2.30, just got about half an hour left. Yeah, I love pineapples, olives. I don't know. I don't think I've had too much on a pizza I don't like. The anchovies thing, you gotta be in the mood. Like, if you're into the fish, you gotta be in the mood for it. Because the second time I had it, it was like, not so much in the mood, but I was like, it was so good last time. Makes a difference.
What do you think about Champion? This shirt is too extra for me, but Robin picked it up for me in the States. He's so sweet. The logo is huge. I'm pretty particular what I'd wear. Today it felt appropriate. My spring, spring outfit. I have the stripe down here, a light wash jean, a light airy greasy color, a big champion logo. Thank you TJ Maxx for the top and Robin and Urban Outfitters for these pants, pantaloons. Remember when I worked at Clamonico and I was so excited to be being a stylist? So that was the title of the stylist. I'm like, I'm a gay stylist. And I loved it. For that time being, I don't think I took that job too seriously either. And now it's closed. <laughs> it wasn't my fault. Closed in London. They're still going. I do love Clamonico though. It's like basics and warm or like just simple stuff like it's nothing crazy it's expensive like $129 for a pair of jeans gets expensive pretty quickly but you know if that's your thing like who am I to judge right I'm getting pizza brain. Now I kind of miss those filters. What happened? I don't know what was going on. Does anybody know? I don't know. I need a caffeine infusion. Jules, what's wrong with your coffee at home? Tell me. I'll try to walk you through it. How are you brewing it? What are you doing? What are you doing? Let me know. Oh, I love coffee. And baths. But coffee. And pizza and food. Just everything. I know, I was thinking about checking out some... Can you go to a park anymore? Mr. Cook himself is watching. Hello, friend. Has it out there on the goat farm. I heard you living on a goat farm and doing all these really cool crafts and projects and metal work and, like, living the dream, which sounds amazing. So... Goals, let me tell you. Mm. This coffee, it's giving me life. And the pizza. Mm. All the things. Sabrina! Oh my gosh, Sabrina. You made a Christmas album, right, Sabrina? That is pretty bomb. Again, goals. I'd love to have an album someday. Like, I don't know if it would be a funny album. Like I said before in one of my live rants that, I don't know, I'm a Beats guy. But I'm also like a jingle person, like commercials. So I think together I could sit and craft a song pretty well that has a hook. Um, went to two art schools, a music background. I don't know how to read sheet music, but I could pick it up really quickly. Like I used to kind of know. I could figure that out. Like if I saw sheet music, I could probably hear it in my head. Um, but I'm not like any music genius whatsoever. But I don't know, like I feel... I feel like Michael Jackson's ghost is watching over me. I'm not joking. We're tight. Where were you when Michael Jackson died? Does anybody care? I do. Remember the last TMZ video? 
They have a Michael. Look that up. The last TMZ video of Michael. He was like gearing up for his tour and he was in that limo. And then they were like, Michael, can you still moonwalk? And he was like wearing a mask, a surgical mask. And he was like, why would not be able to? And that was it. That was like the last TMZ of Michael Jackson, which freaking awesome. I know too many interesting facts about Michael Jackson. Go look up his autopsy. It is wild, wild. Like just wild. His lips were tattooed on. He was bald. He wore a wig since the Pepsi incident in the 80s. I could go on. Eyeliner tattooed on. Like he had missing skin, like from behind his ears, which you watch botch. That's where they take things to graft. You know, when he was going into like lots of two doctors, he was doctor shopping. So the one doctor, Artie Klein, was giving him all his stuff, and then the doctor, um, it's the guy who killed him. He didn't know that was going on. And then he was actually taking something to keep him awake. And that was probably part of why he was having trouble sleeping. One of the drugs. And, and when you're a performer or just like doing anything like high energy, but when you're a performer, like speaking from no experience of my own, like your adrenaline is going and it's hard to shut down at the end of the day. So okay only could imagine that he he's a perfectionist right so yeah i remember when i was a kid my mom was like michael jackson's nose fell off on stage is that true is that true did anybody see that happen is that on youtube where and when did that happen? I don't know. I don't think it did. Because, like, in his autopsy report, unless they're hiding something, because people say he had, like, a closet full of noses and stuff. I don't know. I only, like, 40% believe that one. I think, you know, he just messed with his nose, like, way too much. And then, like, got a lot of fillers and stuff and pain meds. And, like, he was using that, um, was it Profifol? All the way in the 90s with the History World Tour. So he's been doing it for, what, 20 years? And then they found, like, enough of that milk, Profifol, to knock out North America. Did you see that? Like, I don't know. There's some statistic about how much he had. It's like a surgical anesthetic that like you can only administer for surgery and kind of thinking now like if there was like a joke in the 90s like michael's using surgical anesthesia to sleep um you know it kind of makes sense now it didn't didn't so much then i don't think it made sense at all like don't don't do that don't do drugs poor michael i feel bad for michael i'm sure there's a lot we don't know like do I think he was a big child molester? I don't. Could he have been? Possibly, yes. Like, there's that area of opportunity. Totally see it. Do I really believe it? No. And then the, the kid from 1993 who, like, first accused him. Okay, so as soon as he died, he was like, okay, I made that shit up. That didn't happen. And then his dad killed himself. He was like, his parents were divorcing. And his dad made him say all that stuff for money. And he got paid out, and then the dad, like, got called out, and the dad killed himself. So, knowing that, I don't think so. I think it's just all money. Like, when you're, when you're high, in high places, people want to tear you down or latch onto your star or whatever that is. You know, you're easy, easier of a target. So I'm excited to see Janet Jackson this summer. We'll see if that happens. Ticket insurance, thank you. Those Jacksons, notorious for canceling and all that. But this isn't a joke. This isn't a reason to, you know, it's a good reason this time. All of the reasons have been not so great. I mean, having a baby at 50 is still, like, if you're pregnant, you're not going to go on tour. I get it. Remember Janet and Nanny the Professor of the Clumps? 
Can she be an actress again? More. That was great. How are we doing for time? Okay, I got 20 minutes. I don't know if I'll make it through the 20 whole minutes, but... I don't know. <gasps> yeah, are parks open? You can go to parks, right? You just can't play on the playground. I don't know. I want to check out some places. I mean, today's the last day of my day off, so I'm probably not going to get to that. I'm probably not going to paint upstairs. I'm not. Not today. I don't want to today. But yesterday was fun. Thanks for watching and all my rants today and my dances. And half of that stuff got muted because it was not my music. Even though I tried saying it was. So yeah. Oh, I need a nap. I didn't sleep well last night. No, it wasn't good. <laughs> no, more projects around the house this summer. I kind of want to like redo the kitchen a bit, put in a granite countertop, maybe get in a dishwasher and just rig around some of the cupboards and all that. Maybe put in a new floor. It's a lot of things. It's a smaller home. So everywhere needs to be organized and stuff needs to be in place. Pizza's gotten me tired. Again, facing my fear, eating in front of people. Not something I'm super comfortable with. Just for you, I'll do it. Go on my wall, check out my apocalypse video, or whatever I called it. March 2020, COVID-19 with Eric. It's on YouTube. I'm so proud of that. I edited it myself. I think it's funny. And I don't know. I'm going to do another one probably for April. We'll see where this goes. Um, so I'm doing a mix of what I say on Facebook. And then I got this behind the scenes trap going too. And I'm just saving it for saving it for you guys for, for more content. So. It's fun. Just like this, I'm talking to myself. It's okay. I think it's interesting, like when gas is 59, how is that, how is that? Remember when gas was 140? Like five years ago? That was gross. Never, never again. I don't care what it means. Strong economy or whatever. Is anybody investing in the stock market right now? I heard telecommunications is the place to be or medical supplies. <laughs> I don't know about that stuff. I'm kind of scared. Like if you invest stocks, can you like say if I put in $200 and then it loses all this money, do then I owe all this money? Is that how that works? I don't know. I guess there's risk, right? That's what I don't want. I don't want to lose all that money. I'd be fine to like not have like if it hit zero and stops, but then the owing part No, no thanks. I don't know. I kind of think Trump's trying to crash the economy Like on his way out like writings on the wall. What was that thing where like if it dips? Then you're in for a recession and it's dipped like before the COVID crisis. I Don't know Um, it's a fish tank in the back. So peaceful. Uh, yeah. All right, there's one piece of pizza left and I'm not gonna eat it right now. It's too much pizza. I got pizza brain. 
drive me insane. All right, it is 2.46. I've been yammering on for 46 minutes for those who have been watching. It says I only have one viewer, so thank you, one person. But thank you for everyone for tuning in to my nonsense, because it is nonsense. And there's nothing to do out there. Like, really, what are you going to do? You know, listen to me rant. You know, watch some drag queens on live streams. Go check out the local queens in the city. I'm not going to tell you who to watch, what groups to follow, who not to follow. Follow them all. Just going to say that. Hello, Claire. Um, yeah, follow some drag queens. That is some great entertainment. If I do say so myself, the local queens are just killing it on live stream lately. I think right now there's like... I don't know why Halloween just came up, but it's Halloween again. So there's some of that going on. Um, obviously, you're going to have your favorites and just go from there and support all the artists in the city. Like, I think it'd be really interesting to do some behind the scenes drag documentary in London because there is some tea to be spilled. There's so much that you guys don't know that I have been made aware of and I'd like to know more like I'd like to hear everything from everybody have everybody chime in tell me what's their story what's their truth what their experience have been working with other people working with different houses and uh, venues and I don't know I think it's how they got into drag I think it's really interesting I'm not into like RuPaul's Drag Race like so much which is mind-blowing but I don't know. I could take it or leave it. Like, I'm just at the point now where, like, every episode's kind of, like, it's a lot. It's a lot to, a lot. It's a lot. Yeah. So, where'd I leave? Season four or five or something. <sighs> I'm tired. I'm tired of talking so much. Shut up, Eric. <laughs> okay. Um, so... Googly Eyes Eric says goodbye. Wizard Eric says goodbye. Goosebumps Horror Eric says goodbye. The Raccoon Eric says goodbye. Was there another one? He says goodbye too. Goodbye to everybody who tuned in. David, Sabrina, Miss Kubu, Claire. Who am I missing? Julia. Pearl, my grandma. Christian, Noah. Kayla, Rick, the list goes on and on. So thank you all. Have a great day. Enjoy your last day of, no, it's not. It's not the last day. Is it April? No, it's the 31st. Last day of March. Enjoy it. April starts tomorrow. Hopefully a new leaf is turned. Um, wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. Okay, bye everyone. Have a great day.